Okay, here's a video for this controller. I'm going to do my best. I haven't installed it, but I am versed in its uh, connections. Here is the actual, uh, what they give you for the wiring diagram. Um, make it best as you can because uh, that's the best copy I can get right there. And uh, they're pretty much close, but what you get is always different slightly but in general it gives you enough information if you're familiar with controllers um here's the controller here uh there's nowhere it says but right here look at that it says 80 amps right there okay now also it has this connector here underneath the rubber and i'm sure it's some kind of programming port i don't know what connector it is haven't found it don't know where it's at but i'm sure that's how you program it maybe you can put a uh bluetooth uh dongle on it to program it through your phone i don't know i'll find out later now also here is the first connections right here they're they're colored i unscrewed the screws already so you just lift this up here and pull it away and as you can see, they're all clearly labeled. This is for your ground. And over here, this is for your positive. Okay. Then, of course, here's your three phases of the motor right here. And that's where the motor hooks up to. And that's where the power hooks up to. Now, as for the wires, we'll start with the easy one. This is a standard um, hall sensor connector. Um, just make sure the wires match up to yours the same color uh, they're all color coded the same for all brushless controllers you got your three phases and uh, five volt red and black wires so that's just for the hall sensors and it plugs right into here the, uh, the this all unplugs right from the controller right here so just want to go on through these wires real quick now this is the main one you want to know it says right here red positive you know for the orange power switch well this is the orange this this has to hook up directly or through a switch to your main battery power to turn it on okay that's the main one then we'll go with the uh, the con this is the same this is for the uh, throttle red is a five volts black is ground green is the signal and that's anywhere between like one to 4.2 volts or something like that it puts out um let's see here the next one is important right here this is a green green wires and uh it does have a little bit of labeling on it and uh it when you connect it it brings it to 72 volts unconnected it's the 60 volt so whatever your battery pack is or whatever those are the ones how you change the power settings in it now down here at the bottom move that right there speedometer okay pink is the speedometer cable and green is the phase sync uh phase phase of the motor i guess some kind of signal but here they are um, they say uh, uh, green, but it, it's actually green with yellow. And there's the pink for the thro uh, for the speedometer. Okay, that's your speedometer. And then also uh, we have this is the purple. This a lot. This this dark purple. A lot of people confuse with this one here. This one here is uh, let's say your high brake. Now, by my understanding, this one says, also on here, it says, right there, 12 volt, right there. Okay, normally you put, a lot of them you put to the full battery power, or 5 volts, whatever. This one specifically says 12 volts. So, if you have a, uh, let's say, a, a uh, 12 volt system, or 12 volt you know it reduces it down to 12 volts to run your lights 
Well, just hook this up to your brake light. So when your brake light comes on, it does uh, dynamic braking through the motor. Um, that's your choice. It, it's not necessary. But whoever wants it can do it. Now also, we have the uh, three, three switch. Uh, the three, you know, they call it gears, but it's power levels. Okay. The black, yellow, and gray. Okay. Here it is right here. Three gear speed. Yellow is high speed, gray is low. What they mean by is when you take a jumper or a switch, a, a single pole double throw switch, and connect the center of the switch to the black and one side to the yellow and the other side to the gray. Now when the black and yellow are connected, that's high gear. When you have nothing connected or the toggle switch in the middle, like center off position, that's second gear. And then when you connect black to the gray, that's low gear. It, it slows it down. So um, there's your three-speed switch and how you hook it up. Then we got the, uh, the two whites here. It has a little bit of uh, markings on it. But that essentially right here, it is your um, soft start okay um i don't know usually I, I wouldn't connect it um we all like power that's why we got this controller you know it it i figured it out and this says it's 3000 watts but 80 amps at 60 volts it's like you can do 5200 watts technically by math with the uh, ohm's law but i don't know i wouldn't push it now for these connectors here that are red okay people confused those are your alarm wires okay that's just power for your alarm which is probably hot all the time just just regular hot you know 60 volts or whatever you got on your system and these go to your alarm now, your alarms are are you know a lot of them are like 60 or 72 volt alarms just make sure the wire, color wires match up or if you don't want the alarm just don't hook it up just don't hook it up now as for the uh, reverse switch it says blue and black and I'm a little confused on this one because we have a couple of them that are blue and black but see here's a blue with a white stripe and black that's what I'm guessing what it is okay we'll see but then again, here is a purple with a white stripe and black. Because right here, the uh, low voltage brake says dark purple. Uh, 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 it says blue and white to ground. Okay? That's your regular hook it up to your um, switches on your brake handles. I'm guessing this might be it. Usually they're brown, and we do have a brown one which is right here the brown and black usually that I think that's you know the uh, break but this one here the um, brown with white tracer is a uh, cruising switch so if you're cruising along you just hit the switch it, put it to a momentary switch, just a push button, and that engages it. And you touch the brake or give it throttle, and it'll disconnect. So that's your cruise control. So says the paperwork here, is the uh, cruising switch. Um, reverse. Um, I think we covered most of them here. Um, there is, let's see here. Yeah, I think we went through it all. But like I say, these two and this one are the ones that are like debatable. But it does say brown for the uh, for the cruise control. And it does say blue for the um, 
low brakes, blue with white, okay? Oh, and it does say blue with white with low brakes, so that one does match. But this one says reverse blue, blue and black for uh, reverse, okay? Well, like I say, blue, purple. I'm not colorblind, but that sure looks purple to me. So that's pretty much all the wires. Um, good luck. I mean, I, I'm wishing myself good luck on this. And uh, hopefully this will get my uh, Mototech 2500 watt Harley going. Because the one that comes with it is only a 35 amp 1000 watt controller for a 2500 watt motor. So, anyway, those are the wires. Good luck, y'all. And see you on the flip side.